dear colleagues, dear friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's for a moment set aside the extraordinary circumstances in which we gather here today. Let's set aside the questions that we have for our British friends, for all of us in Europe, in European Union, and indeed for, for the world at large. Let's set aside the, I try to find a word which describes our feelings, and I was uh, just chatting about this with Alan Blinder a moment ago. Um, I think uh, probably the, the, the best word would be sadness, which we all are here when uh, we are witnessing changes of, of this magnitude. So let's aside all this and focus on our ECB forum on central banking. This year's forum will be devoted to uh, an international topic. Cross-border economic and financial flows undoubtedly have become increasingly relevant. Little did we know that it would be even more relevant than usual for our policy discussions. Over the next days, we will focus on both macroeconomic and financial linkages, and we will look at the design of the international monetary and financial system. As in the first two editions, I look forward to an in-depth reflections and inspiring discussions on central banking issues that go beyond our day-to-day -day policies. To start off our discussions, I'm very glad that Professor Alan Blinder accepted our invitation to deliver tonight's dinner speech. Uh, he doesn't need actually introduction, but I just want to be a good soldier. I'll tell you who Alan is. He is one of the most distinguished economists of our time, Professor of Economics at Princeton, author of countless key academic articles and books on international economics, fiscal, monetary policy, central banks, the workings of the central banks, and the financial markets. He served us with distinction at the Congressional Budget Office, the Council of Economic Advisors, and as Vice Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. In short, I can think of no better speaker for tonight. Alan, the floor is yours. Thank you.